What's up? This is gonna be my first attempt at a video, yes, I'm wearing glasses, for my new Wild West Pins YouTube channel. I'm working on a pin that will be going to Las Vegas. It's a birthday gift for a lady's mother who's celebrating her, I believe it's 80th birthday. So, I don't know how this is going to work because I'm going to have to edit it in iMovie on my phone and I've never used it. So, we'll see if it works out. My new channel will be up later today. But I'm going to turn this blank into an hourglass pen. I'll have to show it step by step because I can't hold my phone and do all this at the same time. So, this is what we're starting out with as of right now. Okay, so far... I've squared off the ends. Let me see if I can get the light shine on that and see. It's got a brass tube inside of it, which I have to paint because this tube is pretty translucent. I don't know if it'll show up on the video. But if I don't paint the tube blue, then the gold shines through and screws up the color. So that's where we're at as of right now. Uh, you, I do have to wear this mask because Supposedly this stuff will cause cancer if you inhale too much of it. And I lived a pretty rough life through the 80s and most of the 90s. So, so now I'm going to load it up and get ready to turn it. And I'll show a few stages of the turning as we okay. go. Moving right along here. And I'm sorry if my AC is making it louder and harder to hear me, but it's hot in here. Um, I forgot to mention earlier some of my techniques and stuff which was part of the reason I want to show a lot of it um, I do it different because back when I first started making pins I have OCD so when I first started making pins and I was strictly making them out of wood the number one response that I got or comment or input or complaint however you want to word it was that my pins were too perfect they didn't look handmade they looked store bought so since I have OCD doing everything 100% by the book, I can't help but to do it that way. So over the years, I've been doing this for 12 years, a little over 12 years now, I've handicapped myself in certain ways as far as technique, sharpening my tools, uh, the height of my lathe, all sorts of things that make me uncomfortable and keep me from doing it the way I do it. Um, I never hide a fact. I'm sure everybody has imperfections in their pins, but I don't hide that fact from my customers. I tell all of them that there are imperfections in it. And in over 12 years now, I think, and I'm not exaggerating, maybe three people have been able to spot it, but they were happy with it. I've never, due to any fault of my own, had to remake a pin. I've had blanks fail or customer decided it's not what they wanted or something like that and I don't mean not what they wanted they thought they wanted one thing and they didn't it turns out that's not what they wanted um, but as far as what I leave in the errors that I leave in or the imperfections that I leave in they're almost never noticed and nobody's ever returned one because of that so that being said they know it's in there they look at the pin they love the pin they discover the pin uh, sometimes I leave a little more blatant error than or imperfection than normal. It really just depends. I let the pen or the material dictate what imperfections I leave or not. So this pen's moving right along. Oh, and I know I'm gonna have some haters, and that's okay. As long as people are watching my videos, getting some sort of response, hate or like, hey, I'm a stand-up comedian. As long as I'm getting a response from you, that's all good. So I'm going to well I thought I was gonna turn this around so you could see, but I guess I'm going to have to pause it, then turn it around. So, here's where we currently are. There's some rough tool marks in it. Another thing that makes this pin unique for me is it's a first. This is the first time, see I know what most people find comfortable as far as writing, or the way it feels in their hands. Sometimes people ask for a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner prior to me making it because they already know they like a thin pin, they like a thick pin. Here's a tip, uh, thin pin users, getting a custom pin that's really thin, you're turning out most of the 
aesthetically pleasing parts of the pen so just keep that in mind if you can write with a little bit bigger pen you should give that a try it leaves more visual detail in but this pen I'm doing right now I was asked to do it a little bit bigger to because her mother has arthritis and it would help her in writing so I've never done that so this pen I'm gonna to have to leave a little bit bigger and I haven't to guesstimate like I said I've never done one so I don't have anything to gauge by I haven't actually worked with someone who has arthritis and said yes this is a good fit it's too fat or it's too fat or it's too thin it's too heavy so I don't know so I'm having to guess but the, the lady asked me to specifically leave it bigger. So it's going to be bigger than I think it should be, which will leave in more of the stuff to look at. But I'm having to guess, and then she, hopefully she'll give me feedback and let me know if it was a good fit or not. So moving right along, I'm fixing to start the final shaping, and then I'll start finishing it. Okay. Just finished my finishing process. It's all sanded up. I don't know if it's just my eyes or if it's not coming through that good. But it's a beautiful blank. And now it's time to assemble it. Oh, and I checked with the customer. I made this, just in case you can't tell, it's slightly bigger than a Sharpie. Uh, and I try to reach over one hand and get it. Look all around my messy ass shop. Sure sign of a genius. You can see it's slightly, I don't want to touch it, slightly bigger than a Sharpie. I'm thinking that's going to do it. I'm going to apply a coat of wax plastic wax to it, but it's a beautiful blank, and I'm going to assemble it, and I'll show you what it looks like completely. There we have it, boys and girls, what is hopefully an arthritic-friendly pen. Custom ordered, first time I've ever made one like that this far I appreciate it uh, another thing I want to say about why I'm not really concerned about haters because they don't like my technique or whatever I've been doing this for a little over 12 years I make all of my pens custom order the customer picks the pen kit the finish the blank and size any other details they want in and then I make it for them I do occasionally make pens and then sell them they sell well but for the most part it's custom ordered specifically for customer. In over 12 years, I've never had a single complaint or dissatisfied customer. The, I did have a customer who ordered a pen a certain size, which I tried my best to talk them out of. They wanted it, and then they complained that it was too big, but was not my fault. I offered to make them another one, but for whatever reason, they kept it. Uh, but I explained before they ordered it's not my fault if it doesn't work because I'm telling you this is way way too big which it was so aside from that never had a complaint no one's ever been dissatisfied so you can hate on my techniques or whatever but I do appreciate that's for the haters I appreciate those of you that have watched for your interest in what I'm doing and I'll be making more soon also coming soon, got stuff all over. Coming soon will be custom pins that I am making, not by order, but ideas that I have, which will include. And this one's already been spoken for. I will be making a pin with hopefully two scorpions inside of it. They'll be dead. Uh, with two scorpions inside of it, I'm going to try to make a black widow pin. Uh, I have some other ideas. Hopefully they'll turn out. We'll find out. But like this, hate it, let me know. Got a comment to make? Make it. Sounds good. Uh, but most importantly, thank you for watching. 
And second, most importantly, please hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I am Bob Six. Peace.